yung sa inyong lahat ang tutorial natin ngayon ay kung paano gawin ang dashboard ito ay tungkol sa paluwagan kung tayo ay balak magkaroon ng paluwagan sa ating mga kaibigan ng mga friends, workmates or relatives itong worksheet na to in excel ay makakatulong para ma-monitor ninyo ang inyong payout contribution at meron din tayo mga key metrics na importante para makita ninyo kung ano-ano bang mga numbers ang important sa inyong paluwagan template na to of course we have the dashboard so itong dashboard na ito, it would be connected to our detail view. Uh, we don't have to do anything about it. It would be updated uh, automatically um, whenever we input uh, the funds or the contributions to the detail view. And of course, we have this mga hyperlink. If you want to go to the detail view, we just have to click it. And it will go to this uh, detail view. So itong detail view naman, Meron lang tayong dalawang separate small tables dito that we will use for data validation listing. And also itong ating main table where we would record yung kanilang contributions. And we have the week number and then ito yung contributions sa month. So we, then we also have the date. Then yung date view lang. Meron lang tayo dito for the column headers, the, the individual dates for this year starting January 1 and of course yung mga pangalan ng mga members and then ito yung kanilang contributions uh, if they contribute something we, it will show the amount on that specific date and color green and of course if they receive money the the amount will show in red okay so let's start to build itong detailed view let's create a new file So, so name and sequence so name is the, let's type in the name and then sequence number lang nila kung, kung number 1 ka ikaw yung unang sisweldo 2 ikaw pangalawa and so on no? and then of course gawin natin siyang table Table 1, then lagyan lang natin siya ng name. Uh, we should just uh, create from selection. Okay. And then, yung another table is just the type. It's a contribution or payout. Then, let's give it a table. My column has headers. And then, gawin na rin natin siyang login ka lang natin. Okay. So, that's it. And then, yung main table natin, kopyahin ko na lang muna yung column headers para mabilis. Name, yung itong name na to will get the name from this column. So, we will use data validation listing. We go to data. And here, mayroon data validation listing we'll use the list and we just pressed F3 we'll use name okay so now we would have yung names na tinipe natin so we can only select those four kung may bagong member kayong inatagdag you just type it in here and then you just choose five and then automatic it would be added to our data validation listing okay and then you type the man let's do it again data validation listing uh, go to list then we'll press the f3 we'll use type this time okay so let's try to input some details now okay and then you wake number ang formula nyo lang is uh, let's turn this first into a table muna. Control D. And then, okay. So, ang formula lang ng ating uh, week number is was week week number. 
tapos we'll just select this one we are now on week 2 for this year yun lang ibig sabihin nun. we are on the second week of 2021 so now kung meron kayong idadagdag na record you just have to click tab nandun lang kayo sa last record and then click tab and then let's enter another record so you, you can select contribution Alicia 1-5 okay lang yan kahit 1-5 na lang ang enter nyo automatically the 21 will appear no? tapos week number will also appear and then 100 you have to type it in and then just click tab so let's finish yung ano no uh, mga record e, I'll just copy from from our file so we'll call this detailed view So now we'll insert another one. We'll call this date view. Okay, first is gawa lang tayo ng date. Tapos ta uh, call lang tayo ng date and then siguro format lang natin ito. I don't want the year kasi alam, alam naman natin na it's going to be siguro ito na lang. So, para alam natin is January 1. Tapos, i-center natin. Then, drag lang na. Mm, okay na muna yan. Hanggang January 19. So, that's January 1. Okay. So, gawa lang tayo ng formula. Formula natin is indexed. And then, ang array natin is in the list of names. We just highlight itong names sa to. Pag lumabas na yung down arrow, we just have to click it. And then, comma. And then, row. Then let's go back to the date view. Let's point it to A1 and then close the row formula, and then close the index formula, and then enter. So now, if we drag it all the way, let's see, meron lang tayong hanggang dito. So, yung four names natin, Joy, Bang, up to Dean, is already copied, pero nagkakaroon siya ng, nagkakaroon siya ng uh, error. So, we need to wrap this into an if error formula. If error value, value of error is blank na lang, double, double quotes. And close parenthesis. And then we just have to bring this down. Okay, so let's just give this. Okay. So, next na kailangan natin gawin dito is ta, kailangan lang natin i-highlight yung dates if if they fall on a weekend. So, and then let's create conditional formatting. Conditional formatting. Uh, new rule. Used formula. And then formula formula values where this formula is true. So control V lang natin. And then anong gusto nating format, ang gusto natin na fill is medyo yung um, light gray. And okay. So now we have that um, effect or conditional formatting na kapag uh, weekend siya, they would have that uh, kind of... Ta highlighting okay so sir nothing gagawin is that to create a some if formula to capture yung kanilang contributions and payout so some ifs with an est some ifs so some range natin we need to highlight itong amount muna so once nakita nyo na yung arrow down I just need to select it and then select two columns and then we need to change it on week number na to. we need to delete it to delete and change it to amount so dapat amount amount the reason why we're doing this because we're going to drag the formula across our table and we do not want this column to move as we copy the formula to other columns that's why 
pareho natin siya. And that's that's the way we do it in uh, an Excel table. So that's our sum range. So comma. So comma. I press the period. So criteria range one natin is the itong name. So same thing. Uh, highlight nyo two columns and then palitan nyo na lang itong type. Dapat name din siya. Okay? So, that's the name. And then, comma. Let's go back to data view. Let's select Joy. And let's press F4 uh, three times. Kasi we need to anchor yung column um, column. That's why we need to have a dollar sign doon sa A. So, tama. So, next criteria range natin is yung date. Okay, date. Select two columns. And then, palitan natin tong week one. We select it as date. And then, comma at the end. And then, go to date view. Select in January 1 and press F4 two times. No? Why two times? Because we need to anchor or we need to um, absolute itong row number niya, which is number 3. So that's how we uh, make absolute and relative references in Excel. So click enter. So 0 siya. So now we can uh, drag our formula. Siguro pababa muna. And then across. So nakikita na natin yung contributions nila. No? So si Joy may contribution siya nung January 4. Let's check. Uh, Joy, January 4, 100. Si Beng, January 5. Celine, January 5 then That's correct. Si Sai, ako yun. 600, uh, 100, January 6. That's my payout. So, it seems working, no? So, um, so let's proceed. Gawin lang natin siyang uh, Kandito mo na. So, lumabas na rin 200 in January 12. So, Okay. To our file. Ang gusto nating mangyari is ta if it is a contribution which is a positive number, we want it to have a color green. And then if it is a payout, kunwari sumuwedo na si Joy, we wanted to give it a color red. Okay, so ang formula natin for that is if B4 Kasi itong ating start ng ating formula. No? If B4 is greater than uh, 0, then green. If it's less than 0, then you want to give it a red. So let's go to conditional formatting again. Uh, let's go to, uh, to new rule. Use the formula. Equals B4. B4 is greater than. Greater than 0. Then, ang format natin is, gusto natin is green. So, let's just um, change this. Gawin na lang natin dito. So, Apply, then okay. Okay, now those positive numbers are now in green. And then, that pala hinighlight muna natin siya. And let's use naman yung red. New root. Use formula uh, B4. B4 is less than. Less than zero. Then, red naman siya. So, okay. Okay. So, now, 
Yan ang ating conditional formatting. If its the uh, contribution is green, uh, if its payout is it, it's red. So now we can extend. Actually, we can make make this a little bit smaller. And then we can just drag this date. So now hanggang January thirty one nasa. So that's how you will you want to to ano no, to expand your report. You just drag it, and then let's change conditional formatting hanggang AH12 na siya AH12, AH12 which is the nag-expand din yung ating formula so for the uh, dashboard we'll do it in our second part uh, because uh, I don't want this the video to be too long so I'll make another video for that so thank you for watching and see you on the uh, next part of the tutorial.